It's the Titter Pigs. And now it's time for Titter Pigs, the RPG podcast. So am I getting paid for this? Ho, 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 ho. Welcome in, grab your eggnog or mold cider, have a seat by the fire, and let Scott and I regale you with our 2021 recommendos for this holiday season. Hell yes. It's the reason for the season, as you all know, making that favorite gamer in your life smile when they get an awesome new book. We thought this would be a great opportunity to pass along a few recommendos we think gamers need in their lives. Oh, hell yeah. Well, let's get right to it then. So you can head down to your friendly local game store or hit the interwebs. All right, so my first recommendation for this holiday season is going to be a modern update to a classic role-playing game. This is going to be Twilight 2000 Core Set. It is now currently available from Free League uh, for $55. It uses a variant of Free League's tried-and-true Year Zero engine. You get a ton of product in this box set, Scott. Mm -hmm. My quick... Uh, scanning of the box set. I mean, this is absolutely at least a year, if not two years worth of gaming in a box set for $55. Fantastic well, deal. That sounds like a value. No, no, nothing's better than having to buy a game and not have to worry about, you know, adding on to it, you know, within the first year. You yeah, definitely... you, you've got you, you've got a lot of game in this one box. Awesome. Sounds great. I will definitely put that on my list and hopefully Julie will get it for me. Probably not. Uh. <laughs> Okay, well, my recommendation is going to be the Deadlands box set. Do you like weird gonzo stuff? Do you like westerns? Do you like it when you mush it together into a fine paste and come out with this wonderful product called the Weird West? Maybe. I know I know you don't, but others <laughs> might. So, others do, so yes. Yes, so the Deadlands, the, the, you can go out and get the uh, just the core rule book, but the box set is so awesome. I mean, if you like a lot of fiddly bits, if you like a lot of little extras and cards and dice and all these wonderful things that fit in a nice, neat package uh, that you can carry with you everywhere and not have to worry about containing it in different bags and whatnot, this is an excellent way to get into uh, Deadlands, the Weird West, and have everything you need to you know, carry you through an entire campaign and more. Uh, one thing to note is it does run on the Savage Worlds core rulebook, which doesn't come with it. So that's going to be a little bit extra to, to get that. But know that it fits in a nice little slot in this box. So it makes for easy transportation wherever you're going to play the game. Um, so I highly recommend this. It's a wonderful thing to open and behold. And it's always a, a joy whenever you play the game and just everything is just right there as far as, you know, for your players and for the game master. Uh, you can pick it up for ninety nine ninety nine on most of the interwebs, but you can also find it in other locations out- outlets for maybe a little less. So definitely grab uh, the Deadlands box set. And I'll throw a plug into uh, beholding this thing is is amazing. It's a lot of stuff uh, in a nice sizable box. It's beautiful. And that's from somebody who's not a Deadlands player and, or a Savage Worlds player, and it's, it's beautiful to behold. So yes, it's a, it's a bang-up bargain. And what do we got next? All right, next on my list for the holiday season is going to be for the Delta Green fans out there. Uh, you can't go wrong with Impossible Landscapes, widely available from Arc Dream for 65 bucks. This is the massive campaign they've recently uh, put out for retail. Uh, You can find it at your local game stores these days on the interwebs, wherever you want to look. Retail is 65. You can find it a little bit cheaper depending on where you shop. Uh, I am not running it. I am a player in a game and it is absolutely mind bending and mind blowing. I love it. Right. That being said, uh, the hallmark of a good campaign is, you know, when you have those mind bending, mind blowing moments, right? We, We all know those things. Uh, but when it comes to Delta Green, uh, it goes beyond like having those the players' minds being blown. If the players regularly respond to the game with the phrase "fucking Dead Twiller," it's gonna <laughs> it, it's it's destined to be a classic. And this is one of those games because I have uttered that that phrase. You have uttered that phrase. Mm-hmm. Yes, and 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 would like to add also 
not only is it a fantastically written book and just just something to behold in terms of gameplay, but it's also widely considered an, an art book in itself. Uh, yes. Not not only have a lot of love and put into the story, but the artwork, the handouts, and everything you know standard for uh, Delta Green scenarios, but this goes above and beyond. It's almost like as you're reading it, and this is what I've heard because I'm playing in it too, but if you're a GM and you're reading this book, uh, it's almost like you're actively participating in the game just by preparing for it. Yeah, so, it, it, but at a completely different level though. Right. And our game master will will swear to that. It's it's mind bending for him as he as he reads and prepares for you know each uh, fortnightly session. It's I I, th- I think he utters fucking Death Twiller quite regularly too. So <laughs> if you or somebody you know that you're buying for is a Delta Green fan, mm-hmm. get it, get it, get it. Yep. All right. What else is on your list, Scott? Okay. Well, this may come as a surprise to you and many people that we know. Um, there's this little tiny starter set, this little box that came out recently for a game that's been around for a year or two uh, called RuneQuest. And what I'm <gasps> talking about... Oh, I know. I know. It, it's, it's, it's rare that, these get, that this particular game gets recommended. The, the fan base is very small. It's a very uh, small but, but, fan base. But, but hopefully this will grow. All joking aside, though, and I know <laughs> most everyone we know already has this, but for those of you who, who don't, and those of you who have been kind of sitting on the fence regarding RuneQuest, um, you know, it, it, it can be a, a little bit um, anxiety-inducing with the amount of lore and content and just the game's been around for 40 years. And yes, there is a rabid yet wonderful fan base that supports it. They have produced the absolute perfect way for you to get into this game. Enjoy it. Get into the meat and guts of this and come out the other side loving this. If you and your players are looking for something new, definitely pick this up. Get involved in this you know, mythical Bronze Age setting of Glorantha. And you will definitely spend a good amount of time uh having wonderful adventures uh, on or around the famed Dragon Pass of this setting. I know a lot of people have already said it, but uh, this is probably one of the better starter sets that has been created I, I ever. I will swear that this has set a this starter set has set a new bar that every other company needs to strive for. Right. So so yeah, <clears throat> yeah. if you're looking for something new, the price is right. Twenty nine ninety nine, you get a boatload of information, wonderful maps, wonderful artwork, um, and just enough content to last for a long time. And the world of Glorantha will open up to you. Uh, it is yeah. it is no it's longer fantastic. It is no longer something to uh, you know to cower <laughs> before um, or or you know. Be I, anxious I can attest about. to that. Um, I matter of fact, uh, I, I would like to piggyback off of this just because mm-hmm. I just finished reading the box set uh, in its entirety. Uh, it has a uh, four four booklets of varying sizes. The first book is nothing but the rules, uh, mm-hmm. but they are presented in bite size, easy to understand language, very concise, so nice to read. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second book is um, all about the world, but very little about the big world, but a lot about Johnstown, uh, mm-hmm. the centerpiece of the box set itself. The third book is a solo quest meant to teach you the rules and give you context, which is fantastic. And the fourth book gives you gives you three full-fledged multiplayer scenarios in addition to everything else you get in the box. The best $29.99 you'll ever spend on a box set. Yeah, and I can almost guarantee you, though, once you buy it, it won't be your last purchase uh, nope. for, in regards to the world of Glantha. I can attest to that one, too. <laughs> but but it, 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 it definitely... So my credit card. Yeah, it, it definitely makes it accessible. Um, it, 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 the, and it is a wonderful place to play in and a wonderful world. And you can, you know, uh, take uh, as much or as little as you want from from the amount of information that's out there and definitely make it your own. Your, your own. I'm going to quote Greg Stafford, your Glorantha may vary. That was a quote from him? Yes, I I I, th- I thought it was I thought it was said in in a different context from everyone coming to him asking him questions at at, at a various cons. It was more like, "Fuck, your Glorantha will vary." Um, you, we can cut that out. That was a stupid joke. So, all right. Oh, uh, all right. So my last uh, recommendo for the holiday season is going to be my one of my perennial favorites. Uh, it was my 2020 game of the year, uh, and for good reason. Uh, it's liminal. Mm-hmm. I know it's a favorite of Scott's. Oh, it's yeah. a favorite of a lot of our listeners. 
uh, and friends of ours that we game with regularly. The book is widely available, retails for $48 US. It's available directly from Modifius, either at their UK store or their their new US website. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that makes it more accessible, but you can find it across uh, the interwebs and local game stores as well. It's widely available. Uh, it has fantastic, uh, elegant mechanics. Yes, I know elegance a term with role-playing games that's widely used and overused, but it's true. I mean, they are, it's super slick mechanics. It allows people to jump right in, really get into the game without having a much of a learning curve at all. It just gives you lots of story options, right? There's just enough canonical lore, if, I, if that's even, if you can even call it canonical lore. The story lore is based in the UK and you've made it like in the US. Right. So I, there, There's a base foundation. I mean, it is UK centric right. and because of the author and, and just everything. But like most games that take place in a certain area of the world, it can go two ways. It can either be um, very inclusive, where you're pretty much stuck there within this, or the information that they have, the game mechanics, allow you to branch out and essentially bring... And this is, this is the latter. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yes, it's UK-centric. Scott has actually written a scenario that puts it right in the heart of Louisiana and New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So there's just enough lore to give players and GMs that flavor, uh, but so much white space to create their own stories. And it's fantastic for that alone right there. Right. Um, it, it, as I said in my review in uh, January of 2021, as I was kind of writing my review for my 2020 game of the year was, this is everything I wanted the, the White Wolf game system, you know, their, <laughs> their line of game books to be right. in one small digest size book. Right. That, that's a, that's a yeah. good point. If you're a fan of Neil Gaiman's uh, Neverwhere, if you're a fan of Rivers of London, if you're a fan of the Dresden Files, or any mm-hmm. such game such as that, and even, as you've mentioned, Vampire the Masquerade, yep. this game is all of that and then some, but in a nice, neat, wonderful package. Yes, and very, very accessible. Mm-hmm. So those are, those are my three big recommendations for this holiday season, all available. You should have what you got one more, don't you? I sure do. What is it? So this one's a special one. Uh, this is one for a particular type of uh, of gamer. Uh, so what I'm going to recommend here is the Masks of Nyarlathotep prop set, uh, brought to you by the HP Lovecraft Historical Society. It is a fantastic product to supplement this game. The Masks of Nyarlathotep game is on its own stands above and beyond most campaigns. It is, you know, one of the top epic ones of all time and has been for some time now in its various uh, iterations. This prop set just adds so much more, so much immersion, and it is done with this wonderful amount of detail and care that only can be brought to you by, you know, the the people here at the uh, HP Lovecraft Historical Society. And it's just, I've been playing with it for a few months now since we've kind of been able to open back up. What it adds to the game, uh, the, it keeps the player's interest. They, anytime that there's a new prop that comes out, you can see the glee on their face. It's like Christmas. Uh, every time- Oh, I know. My players did the same thing. <laughs> it's great. It's it's. Oh my God! It's right. It's like Christmas morning every time you bring out a new prop. I mean, and it's, it's and, like, oh! and you may think, well, well, that's neat, you know. But I mean, it's it's not the focus isn't on the prop itself. It's the whole thing. I mean, it could be easy just to put something square in the middle of a you know a, a bit of old newspaper and then have the side stories be a bunch of nonsense like you would find in the movies or something. But there's actual information that uh, that may not d- directly pertain to the game, but it's still real information that is you know central to the time that you're playing in and there may be some sidebars you you never know if you you need to look and it's not just you know bits of paper it's physical uh handouts you know scrolls uh it is sound bites matchbook covers yeah matchbook covers uh sound bites you know that uh, essentially are going you know within the game are being played on wax tubes um it's a bit. Let's not forget their passports. Right, exactly. Those are cool. Those are wicked cool. Um, it, it it is a bit pricey. There's various tiers, which unfortunately they don't have anymore. But even on the base set, it's it's hundred and thirty nine dollars. But what you get is, you know, in my opinion, it's hundreds of dollars of additional immersive props that uh, will will just you know keep your your investigators rolling through this game and you know really get those gears turning as to you know what's going on where they're going to go next and it's just it's just a wonderful way for 
you know, to add that that immersion and just, you know, see the joy on their face and also your, the joy on your face is it makes it a lot easier. Um, because as much as I love Chaosium, their handouts are hit or miss. Um, and as far as Agreed. as far as legibility is concerned, as far as usability, um, and mind you, they're 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 theirs is very detailed and whatnot. But sometimes, you know, they're just hard to read. The print is very small. Whatever the case may be, these there's really no, you know, you, you can sit there and physically hold the product and 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 just read it clearly. The information is absolutely perfect. So once again, that's you would ha- in order to obtain the product. I know that some game stores may carry it. I know it's very rare. It's not really a retail product. Uh, but if you go to the HP Lovecraft Historical Society's website, I believe it's a hundred dollars free shipping. This is not worldwide, of course, but you know, within the States. But uh, if not, pick up some other stuff. They have some other excellent, just generic props uh, that, that you can just use in any Call of Cthulhu game, uh, whether they be physical or just uh, stuff that uh, you can use and print out whenever you want. Great, great product. And just to, you know, if you to see, you know, that box open, it's, you know, it's, it's like, you know, it's like lifting the lid of the Ark, but you just don't melt. Uh, after that's good. After you, I don't want to melt. After you but gaze I have it. the prop set too, yeah. and I can I can attest to everything Scott has just said. My players loved it. Mm-hmm. We put everything uh, when we were using it. We put it up on a magnetic um, dry erase board mm-hmm. with magnetic push pins. Seeing them do that was uh, just put everything up there was fantastic. Right. Right. And everything has its own look and feel and tactile you know, sense about it. Like letters are on different papers and envelopes and newsprint and things like that. You don't get that with the, the chaosium handouts. Right. You just get what you print out on bond paper on your printer. Right. Exactly. The, the, so, the, the, the tactile aesthetic is just, is just wonderful. Yeah. So well worth the money. So, Oh yeah, absolutely worth the money. So, yeah, so those are my three. Um, and so, you know, these are just suggestions for, uh, for you to consider uh, for, you know, your, the gamer in your life, you know, whether it be, you know. Or yourself. Or yourself, exactly. You know, it's, it's you know, self-love. Don't forget, about, don't forget about yourself at Christmas. Right. So you are very important, too. Self-love is important. Take that however way you want. I don't care. Um, <laughs> but uh, but treat, treat yourself, as, as they say. Um, but yeah, as we say in the deep South, yes. <laughs> uh, so, so yeah, so that's, that's your three, that's my three, but I think we were going to toss in a couple extras here. So I believe you have a, a couple stocking stuffers to suggest. I do. Cause you know, stockings hung by the chimney with care, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Right. But stockings are a Christmas tradition mm-hmm. or holiday tradition, depending on what you're uh, your holiday traditions are, but they tend to be, you know, include stockings. So two things I'd like to recommend for this holiday season for stockings of sorts, dice. No gamer has ever has enough dice. So you need more dice, buy dice. But every gamer in your life needs dice. So buy them dice. You can never go wrong with dice. Just ask my, just ask my wife. She'll tell you, you can never go wrong with dice. Well, <laughs> unless you're one of those that spend five grand on, on mammoth bone dice. Then, then, yeah. There's you. You have too much money, and there's something. If there's wrong. any listeners out there that would like to gift me mammoth bone dice, I would be happy to accept <laughs> those because I don't have those. <laughs> um, and then the other thing I would like to recommend. This is both uh, a plug for uh, a friend of ours, Scott. Mm-hmm. But um, I am super excited. I have three copies on order. In fact, <laughs> just because I wanted a supporter, one uh, one copy I'm gifting to somebody mm-hmm. uh, for their stocking. One copy I am uh, giving. To another friend of mine uh, that I ordered it for, um, a friend of the show is uh, goes by the name Sue Savage, and she's released her first role playing game called The Matrons of Mystery, yep. and it is a powered by the apocalypse derivative game, and uh, its elevator pitch is step into the role of an older lady turned amateur sleuth and work with your fellow matrons to discover clues, unearth secrets, and solve mysteries in a cozy mystery role playing game played a very similar game uh, by another game designer. She has taken that game and stripped out the bits that she didn't care for, tweaked it, turned it around, flipped it up on its head and created her own unique game. And I am super excited to get it. Uh, It's available at Lulu. So Lulu.com and retail US is less than $11 Mm -hmm. for a 40 some odd page printed book plus 
plus a couple of bucks shipping. Right. You can't go wrong. And you, you may have missed the Lulu 30% sale, but Lulu always has 15% off. So Always. Always. Always a 10 or always a 15, but... Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I'm so. excited for that, too, because I've, I've ordered it myself. So I, I know a ton of us have ordered copies of it. Yeah. So, so maybe maybe um, we'll we'll bring it up or discuss it once we get it sometime on, on Titter Pig. So. Oh, no, we're, we're going to do that. Awesome. I'm super excited about it. So I've got I've got those two stocking stuffers. Did you have any you wanted to throw out there? Well, I've got a couple, um, you know, and, and these are, you know, things that will fit in the stocking. But, uh, you know, they're they're one is a various degree, depending on how much you actually want to crammed into the stocking monetary wise. So um, Hero Forge. Uh, a lot of you may be familiar with, with Hero Forge. It's, it, it is a uh, miniatures uh, site where you can design your own mini. Uh, they can either send you the, um, uh, the 3D file. You can purchase the 3D file and print it out yourself, or they can print it for you and send it to you. Uh, they've recently added the, um, the addition of color so they can actually color your miniature for you. Uh, I've ordered one for my son before. They are a fantastic product. Uh, they can be a little bit pricey, but you, you're kind of buying these things as a, um, uh, you know, as a souvenir of the game. You know, if you have that favorite character that you want to, um, put on a pedestal for, you know, all to see or, or a fond memory of a game that you've had, it's, it's not really something you're going to go and, uh, populate your game with, but uh, these these special characters that you have that you play with, a gift card, a a, a gift card to the site is is something that uh, uh, not only would it allow them to purchase one of these these uh, wonderful miniatures, but there's so much fun to be had just going on to that site and playing with the character creation and 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 know that you can save these pictures and use them as uh, virtual tokens, uh, even if you're not going to buy their product. Uh, but it, it is it is a blast. I do it all the time. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Their site is fantastic. Yes, it, it it is a wonderful way to to um, you know add you know additional uh, immersion and aspects to your game. Uh, but but having the physical product of something that if you have a character that's special or or you know your loved one has has one that is special and you really want them to um, uh, you know to have something special. I'm going to use special again and again and again and again. Uh, but uh, this is something I would recommend. Get them a gift card. Uh, I believe you can email it to them. I think they may be able to send you a physical thing. But uh, what I do in in that still, if they don't have a physical card, we wrap it in a little box so they have something to open on Christmas Day. Um, so I print it out, I should say, and put it in a box so that we've got something to open. So perfect. So the next thing I'm going to recommend is, is, you know, this is for the creator, uh, you know, in your family or friends, this is for the GM that really loves, uh, world building that loves, um, homebrewing his game that, you know, the, the one that takes meticulous notes and, and, you know, keeps, you know, wonderful notebooks and tabs on the things that they do. It's not me. They, they, they actually <laughs> yeah. exist out there somewhere, I've been told. But, uh, you know, a, a wonderful little product that, that came out a, a bit ago is the um, uh, World Builders Notebook. Uh, and this is from uh, Swordfish Islands, which you, you know, which you may, most of you may know from it, its game, uh, Hot Spring Island. Uh, and, um, uh, other things that, 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 you know, that they produce, but that's the big one that most people know them for. Uh, but what the world's notebook, the world builders notebook is, it's a detailed notebook that, that isn't just blank, but it provides a variety of different, um, aspects within there to help you keep meticulous notes within your game. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's blank sections within there, but there's also uh, gridded paper, uh, different types of grids between, um, you know, hexes and, you know, in the square grids. Uh, there's a uh, reference section in there, beautifully illustrated, uh, you know, with, with, a, with a variety of, um, I believe it was, yes, uh, Frank Franzetta. Uh, there's Frank Franzetta uh, paintings with, within the book itself to kind of he- keep those creative juices going as you're going in through there. Um, so, yes, a lot of people can just, just fill in a, a blank notebook and keep, you know, the world alive. But uh, others, you know, have, you know, it's nice to have these extra little um, uh, cornerstones, you know, to 
that make it easier uh, to uh, to create these worlds that, that your players exist within. So uh, it's a beautiful little book. Uh, it's it's only twenty twenty dollars, uh, and it should slide into any stocking without a problem. So in fact, you can get a couple of them. You know, because uh, they if you have someone who's super creative, they're going to fill this thing up rather quickly. And there you go. Those are my two stocking stuffers that I suggest. Well, fantastic. Well. Listeners, you've got some great recommendations uh, for gifts under the tree for yourself or your favorite gamer in your life mm -hmm. or gamers. You got some great stocking stuffer ideas. Remember, Dice, Hero Forge. You can't you can't go wrong with either of those. Right. If you need something new, you know Sue Savage's book uh, fits nicely in a stocking, or the World Builders uh, notebook, mm -hmm. you know, fit right in the stocking too. So lots of great things. Scott and I kind of cultivated a couple of good things for you. Go shopping. Uh, try to hit your local game store first, uh, if at all possible, and show them some love. Uh, the pandemic's been hard on, on local game stores. Yep. A lot of them have folded up. So if you can, please try to show your local game store some love. They would appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. So so this is, this is a short little... Um, uh, short little podcast we've done with the recommendations. We are going to be coming back to you sometime in December with a, another regularly scheduled uh, Titter Pigs podcast. Uh, what that information, uh, what information we with within the podcast itself, you'll just have to see. I guess there we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there we are. Well, for now, I guess from myself and from Keith, just want to wish you a Merry Christmas and happy shopping. Spend that money. Yes. And we like gifts too. Yes. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Ho, 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 ho!